How to optimize SEO with HTML tags and Elementor. Hello everyone, my name is Matthew from iLink.design. In this video, I assume you are familiar with WordPress and Elementor, and you have at least a basic knowledge of them. Okay, first of all, let's see what HTML is and what it does for us. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is the standard markup language for creating web pages. It describes the structure of a web page. It consists of a series of elements. Its elements tell the browser how to display the content. It labels pieces of content such as this is heading, this is a paragraph, this is a link, etc. Okay, do you see this page? This is a page, a simple web page, without any HTML code. This is how the browser is going to show you a web page if you don't assign any code in HTML. And this one is exactly the same page, but I added HTML code and of course CSS. As you see, HTML is defining this page. It's saying, hey, this is your heading. This is the bold section. This is underlying section. This is paragraph. This is a sidebar. This is an image. So as you see, it is exactly defining and structuring our page. Now, in this article, as I said, we are going to see how to optimize SEO with HTML tags and Elementor. Okay. I have designed a very simple uh, web page here using Elementor Pro. Let's start from headings. There are six levels of headings from H1 to H6. They are outlines that help the users to navigate easily through the page. They are being used by screen readers to help users' navigation. Similarly, search engines look at headings and give weight to information based on heading level. Therefore, the best approach is to start with H1, heading level 1, and put them in the numerical order, for example, the title of your page must be always H1 and it happens only once in a page and then H2, H3, H5, H6. When you're creating pages with Elementor, it gives you the option to change the headings level. As you see, I have chosen this title as my heading. So, how to change the heading level? Go to Elementor Editor. This is Elementor Editor. You can drag and drop title widget, heading, uh, heading widget. I will delete this one because I just added here for you. So when you drag and drop and when you type your heading, whatever it is, whatever is related to your page, you go to Content tab. Go to HTML tag drop down menu and choose your heading. Of course, this is the title of my page and I should choose H1. But if you have subtitles or other titles, you can choose H2, H3, H4, H5, H6, whatever suits you. There is another approach to actually uh, use page title the second approach is just go to and uh, go to the widgets and type page title if it is page page title if it is your post template you can use post title if I drag and drop my page title here it will show me the title of this page 
when I was creating this page, the name of this page was I, I, I chose tutorial as a name or title for this page. You can either use this title widget or heading widget. The difference is when you use title widget, it shows the title of your page when you are creating page or the name of your page and it is set h1 by default so you don't have to change you don't have to be worried about it okay because it is already h1 okay but when you are using actually heading heading widget you have to change the level so i delete this one here as we don't need okay this is for h1 heading let's see what are the others uh, HTML semantic tags uh, as you know there can be many elements on a page like headings paragraphs images lists and so on prior to HTML5 if we wanted to group these elements we would wrap them in a generic div tag HTML5 added some semantic tags to its specifications which give meaning to sections of a typical web page HTML5 semantic tags are main header footer section article navigation aside etc Elementor gives you the option to freely define these sections with HTML tag drop-down menu let's have a look at each of these semantic tags the next tag I want to introduce you is the main tag main is a, a is um, a HTML semantic tag okay what is main you know these days web pages have many different types of content HTML tags are what work behind the scene and users never see them but what about screen readers and search engines the page structure which is defined by tag is what web assistive technologies like screen readers and search engines care about as we discussed prior to HTML5 we had to wrap the different content in div tag but now we have new tags that define the different types of content and make them understandable for web assistive technologies and search engines one of these semantic tags is main tag as its name represents we can use main element to identify the primary content of our page the content of main element should be unique to that page therefore headers footers sidebars and other elements that appear in multiple pages must not be included in the main section a page should have only one main element and should not be nested in article header footer side or nav element as you see if you want to set a section and you should actually set a section as a main content of your page you just click on the section in elementor editor and come to content uh, layout sorry layout go to html tag drop down menu and choose main so the search engine will know that this is the main content of your page the next section i'm going to talk about is header and footer you know logos navigation menu social icons address copyright details and more are the elements that the most website developers want them to appear across their websites prior to html5 we would wrap these elements in div tag and link these divs to all pages that would work perfectly but it was not completely understandable for web assistive technologies or search engines thank thanks to html5 that gives us the precious feature to define these elements and make them completely understandable for web assistive technologies and search engines the very first one is header the next step header i want to talk about 
normally appears at the beginning of a web page. The web page header typically include introductory content like logo, navigation menu, or some elements such as social icons. That being said, header can be used as introductory materials to a section or article as well. Okay, let me go to my header. This is the header of my page. As you see, I click on the section, go to layout, HTML tag, and I set it as header. So the search engine or other technologies, when they are, you know, when they are indexing my web page or uh, exploring, they know that this is the header. Okay. Elementor Page Builder lets you create your global header and use it across the website or in any page you wish. When you are creating customized header with Elementor, it is best practice to set header tag to the section you created, as I did here. Okay. One thing about navigation menu. Well, navigation menu should be inside the nav actually tag. However, this is this is the nav widget. When you use Elementor nav widget, it is automatically set to nav by default, so you don't have to change it. Don't don't worry about it, okay? It is already set. Everything is done. Just put this section, set this section as header and it's okay. The next one is footer. Let me just. Okay, the footer section. This is a footer section. The footer element typically includes information such as navigation, copyright information, related documents, author information, and columns at the end of the page or article. Again, I click on the section. Go to layout, come to HTML tag drop down menu, and choose footer. Easy peasy, yeah? And now, again, search engine or other technologies know that this is the footer of my website. And there is one more, two more things actually. Another one is section. Okay. As you see, I have assigned this section in HTML tag as a section. Okay. What are section? Uh, think of sections as chapters in a book. You can use section element to divide a long web page into thematic sections. A section includes a heading and content that is meaningfully grouped together. It is meaningfully grouped together. So this is a section. It can, uh, it has a header. Okay. It has a paragraph. It can have a list. It can have whatever you want, but it should be grouped semantically together. Okay. Meaningfully together. Sorry. Meaningfully together. And it is very important because the search engines or uh, Sistive or other technologies know that this whatever in this section is grouped meaningfully together so they are actually about one topic the next one is article very interesting which is actually is my favorite HTML semantic tag as you can see I've set this section as article what are the HTML semantic tags, okay? As you see, this section is related to the page topic. Yes, it is related to the main topic of the page. However, the content of this section can be cut and be used on another website and still make sense. So, what type of content can set article tag to it? Any content that is related to the page topic and still can be used independently on another website, blog, 
or even books you know someone can just use this one this section which I set it as article and use it on his own website of course referring to my website but uh, what I mean that it is related to the topic of my page but you can use it independently on any other website you want okay the last one is aside as you see I set this column as a side I just choose the column come here come to the layout HTML tag drop down menu and choose a side so the side element identifies a piece of content or information that is separated from the page content but still indirectly related it can be used for quotas links callouts background information and more this element has no default appearance so you can adjust the appearance and layout using CSS or easily designed by Elementor it's easy okay this one uh, this side was actually the last HTML semantic tag that I wanted to share with you today uh, I really hope that you enjoyed this video uh, and it was all I wanted to share with you today please subscribe to my channel and most importantly please give me your comments I would love to know if you like this video or not and hear your suggestions once again thank you for watching this video see you soon